वेलकम टू इंग्लिश चार्टर बॉक्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड द चैप्टर नेहा सलाम क्लॉक नेहा वॉज अ यंग गर्ल एंड दिस चैप्टर टीचर्स आर द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ गेटिंग अप आर सेल्स एंड नॉट फीलिंग सैड लाइक आर बॉडी डिमांड्स फूड एंड वी हैव टू ईट वेन इट डिमांड्स फूड लाइक वाइज देर इज अ टाइम टू गेट अप एंड नो मैटर हाउ लॉन्ग और लेटर यू वॉन्ट टू स्लीव When it is time to get up one must get up otherwise they would become lazy In this chapter we read the story of Neha who's a young girl and who think it's a cheating that she has to get up every day at 6 o'clock So the first day we read that uh, her alarm clock starts ringing at 6 and she doesn't want to get up she think it's quite unfair At that very moment the alarm clock falls down and she's pretty glad that the next day she'll be able to get up later and next day there was no alarm so obviously she was sleeping and uh, feeling cozy but then the birds who used to watch her every day uh, came and woke her up they started chirping they were telling her to get up she got irritated with them also and she wanted them to leave her alone so that wish also came true But the next morning, when the birds were in troubling her, then the sun was bothered about her, and the sun gave bright sunlight in her room so that she would get up. No, Neha got irritated with that also. She said, "What's the problem? Alarm is not ringing. The birds are not troubling. Then why is the sun troubling me?" And she was extremely lucky. The next day, the sun was hiding behind the clouds, so Neha could sleep as long as she wanted. But no, that also did not happen because her mother told her to get up. Otherwise, she would miss the bus. Now she was irritated that why does mother need to wake me up? But obviously, there is no getting away from mummy. But the next day, she got up herself at six o'clock and nobody woke her up. So she started asking her mother that how did she get up? So mother explained her that as she has fixed time for lunch and when she gets hungry, she eats. Likewise she has a time to sleep at 9 in the evening now when she is tired at night she sleeps similarly there is a inner clock in her which tells her that her rest is over and she needs to get up so she gets up herself only because there is a inner clock in every one of us and this chapter tells us that we should all get up and listen to our inner clock we must learn to get up in time thank you